Hello, you little explorers. Look, I've got a friend. This is Pinkbird. Say hello to Pinkbird. <laughs> We're here for Little Explorers Story Time. Are you ready to sing the song? Do you want to help me sing it, Pinkbird? Okay, you ready? Little explorers, here we are, here we are, here we are. Little explorers, here we are to learn and sing and play. Well, I've got um, some of the Bible to read you here. It's Luke 15, verses four and seven. Have you heard it? You're gonna listen. Okay, listen carefully. Jesus said, suppose one of you has a hundred sheep. I know it's a lot of sheep, isn't it? And loses one of them. What do you do? You leave the other 99 sheep in the pasture and go look for the one that you, you got lost until you find it. And when you find it, you are so happy that you put it on your shoulders and carry it back home. I know that is really nice, isn't it? Then you call your friends and neighbours together and say to them, I am so happy I found my lost sheep. Let's celebrate. I love a celebration too. And that would really be worth celebrating, isn't it, Pink Bird? In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 respectable people who do not need to repent. I know, wow, wow indeed. We have an amazing heaven to look forward to, don't we? Would you like to hear a story about a lost sheep? Are you gonna listen really nicely? Well, how about if Pink Bird sits here and then you can listen to the story with the little explorers. The lost sheep. Here is a farmer. Look at all those sheep. He has a hundred sheep and he is counting them. Can you count to a hundred? It's a very big number. Oh, look, he is worried. One of his sheep are, are missing. Oh dear, where has it gone? He's looking in the penthouse. Is the missing sheep in the penthouse? No. He's looking behind the haystack. Is the missing sheep behind the haystack? No. He's looking under the hedge. Is the missing sheep under the hedge? No. It's lost. Look, the farmer's looking and looking. All day long, the farmer looks for his sheep. He climbs up the hills and he scrambles over rocks. He crawls through bramble bushes. Oh, they're very prickly. The thorns scratch him. But he will not give up. Oh, the poor farmer is tired and hungry. His feet hurt but he will not give up at 
last, the farmer sees his sheep. Look, the sheep has fallen into the water. The farmer dives into the water, splosh, and he rescues the sheep. saying the farmer has found his sheep. There's the farmer carrying the sheep home on his shoulders. Let's have a party, they say. Look, they're having a party. They're so happy that that one sheep has been found. How exciting. Jesus says that God is like the farmer. He loves us just like the farmer loves his sheep. Isn't that amazing? That's how much God loves us. And the Bible says we're a bit like sheep that get lost. But God, he will go and find his lost sheep and bring them home. Shall we say thank you to God that he loves us so much that he will come and find us and bring us home? Let's pray. Thank you, God that you love us so much, just like the farmer loves his sheep. Amen. Well, that's the end of our story. It comes from this book that's called Stories Jesus Told. Maybe you've got this at home and can read the story with mummy or daddy later. Did you enjoy that pink bird? Did you enjoy that little explorers? It's time to say goodbye now. Are you ready to say our goodbye song? Little explorers, off we go, off we go, off we go. Little explorers, off we go, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, little explorers. Goodbye, pink bird.